American Family News. I'm Mr. P. A deadly shooting Sunday inside an Indiana shopping mall. Ashley Strohmeyer reports. Police in Greenwood, Indiana, just outside of Indianapolis, are still trying to figure out why that lone gunman walked into a shopping mall and started shooting. The suspect, only described as an adult male with a long rifle, also had several magazines of ammunition when he started shooting in the food court area. Three victims were killed and two others were hurt, but fortunately no other harm was done thanks to a legally armed citizen with a handgun. A White House advisor pushes back and claims the country is headed toward recession. Alexandria Hoff reports. White House economic advisor Jared Bernstein said this about the current inflation rate. It is very hard to conclude that we are in a recession when you look at the payroll and the job gains that we've seen. But the American people do have their predictions. New Fox News polling shows that 52% see the economy getting worse one year from now. Only 42% see it getting better. And this one is the really striking data here. 84% currently find the Biden economy to be only fair or poor. That's compared with 17% who think that it's excellent or good. In one Michigan city, residents racked up a huge amount in unpaid water bills, which are now coming due. Tanya J. Powers has the story. City officials in Saginaw, Michigan, will resume water service shutoffs today after a pandemic moratorium that was put into effect in March of 2020. In May, Saginaw officials said they would be ending the moratorium, giving people time to make payment arrangements or apply for financial assistance. The city manager says the amount of overdue water utility payments grew from $1 million last summer to $1.6 million as of May, putting a dent in the city's budget. Saginaw temporarily lifted the moratorium in June last year and tried to start collecting payments from about 750 households, some with water bills in the thousands. They reinstated the moratorium less than a month later. Tanya J. Powers, Fox News. A remarkable diagnosis of America's troubles from a secular author. But the truth is hard to deny. This country has a spiritual problem. Steve Jordahl reports. In his article, subtitled The Demonic in Contemporary Culture, published in The American Mind, author Richard Pope notes the depths to which America has slid, pro-abortion activists taking the stance that, quote, it's a birthing person's choice, even at full term, teachers instructing kindergartners about explicit sex and taking them to drag queen story hours. The only word he can find to describe it is demonic. Biblical apologist Dr. Alex McFarland says he nailed it. Not since I read C.S. Lewis, The Great Divorce and Screwtape Letters, have I read someone who I believe so accurately really does understand uh, the activity of Satan and demons and then those who become possessed by demonic forces. Surprisingly, the first four words of the article are, I am not religious. But McFarland says Pope's logic tells him there's no natural explanation for a nation plunging off a moral cliff like we have. Pope is forced to look beyond. It attempts to understand a lot of the evil and the violence and the killings and just the general bent of our culture in terms not of psychology or economics, but in terms of spiritual warfare. Tellingly, though, the article comes up short on solutions that could be used to drag the country out of the muck. That, says McFarland, will take a religious person, specifically a Christian. It's time, he says, to stop wringing our hands, get off the sidelines, and get in the game. This is where the Church of Jesus Christ has an imminent opportunity to show its relevance. I'm Steve Jordahl. Some strong storms in parts of the country today. Janice Dean with more possible severe storms today. We could see some hail, some damaging winds, maybe an isolated tornado, and then we're also going to see some heavier rainfall, especially across portions of New England. Uh, so several inches in a pretty short period of time, that's going to lead to flash flooding. Just be prepared, know what to do if you get a watch or a warning. We also have the threat for stronger storms for the northern tier of the country and then across portions of Mississippi and Alabama. Tomorrow, the risk is across the upper Midwest and uh, the Great Lakes. More news online at AFN. Net and download the AFN mobile app for your Apple or Android device. So much DP. Here at KNVBC, we're very grateful to the American Family Radio for allowing us to broadcast their Christian news free of charge. And we encourage you to listen to this brief word from AFA. The single most cited source of ideas in the founding era for the documents we have was the Bible. Historian David Barton. That doesn't sound like a godless constitution when your most cited source is the Bible. Do you want to learn more about the biblical foundation of our nation's constitution? 
Watch God in the Constitution by David Barton from American Family Association's Cultural Institute. It's available on DVD at afastore.net. Good morning. This is July the 18th. Morning, my morning, They shall go hindmost with their standards. Numbers 2, verse 31. The camp of Dan brought up the rear when the armies of Israel were on the march. The Danites occupied the hindmost place. But what did the position matter since they were as truly part of the host as were the foremost tribes? They followed the same fiery, cloudy pillar. They ate the same manna, drank of the same spiritual rock, and journeyed to the same inheritance. Cheer up! Though last and least, it's your privilege to be in the army and to fare as those who lead. Someone must be hindmost in honor and esteem. Someone must do menial work for Jesus, and why not I? The Danites occupied a very useful place. Stragglers have to be picked up on the march, and lost property has to be gathered from the field. Fiery spirits may dash forward over untrodden paths to learn fresh truth and win more souls to Jesus, but some of a more conservative spirit may be engaged in reminding the church of her ancient faith and restoring her fainting sons. Every position has its duties, and the slowly moving children of God will find their peculiar state an imminent blessing to the whole host. The rear guard is a place of danger. There are foes behind as well as before us. Attacks may come from any quarter. The experienced Christian will find much work for his weapons in aiding those poor, doubting, and wavering souls who are hindmost in faith, knowledge, and joy. These must not be left unaided. Tenderly watch to help the hindmost this day. Join us each day at this time for Morning by Morning. Daily Devotionals by Charles Spurgeon, read by Brother Ed Russ. a student at Golden State Baptist College from St. Charles, Missouri, and you're listening to KNVBC Revival Radio, broadcasting from the campus of GSBC. GSBC. 